Scientists have long understood what happens in the clouds when lightning bolts appear, but have never been able to precisely explain how lightning is created until now. A new study published Monday in the Journal of Geophysical Research appears to have solved this mystery using math. It details the powerful chain reaction that occurs in the atmosphere to spark the creation of a lightning bolt. Victor Pasco is joining us now. He's the professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering at Penn State University, and he led this study. Victor, thank you for being here. How exactly did you and your team figure this out? Yeah, thank you for uh, uh, this opportunity. Uh, so uh, we discovered this, uh, we believe for the first time, this uh, powerful chain reaction, which leads to uh, lightning initiation. It uh, combines uh, cosmic rays. So we believe that cosmic rays initiate this uh, uh, reaction and also involves uh, uh, very high energy photons and uh, electrons. And what is really fascinating about uh, this mechanism which we published is that uh, um, uh, initiation occurs on a very short uh, time scale. So if you think it uh, takes only one millionth of a second for lightning uh, to initiate. And the way it works, it works like a domino effect. So you can think about high energy domino when you really just touch, uh, uh, touch it and then it develops in a very powerful huh. electron avalanche uh, leading, to, uh, leading to lightning. So tell me then, how should all of us earthlings be interpreting this study? What should this mean to us? Yeah, so I think that um, uh, this study really um, uh, provides additional insight on uh, uh, physics uh, uh, and uh, uh, situation in our everyday environment on Earth's, uh, Earth's planet. And uh, we believe that we are able to uncover some uh, really interesting phenomenology related to, um, uh, to lightning. For example, uh, Professor Nikolai uh, Ostgard and his team recently conducted uh, research using uh, a high-altitude uh, NASA ER-2 airplane to get very close to lightning discharge. And what they discovered is that uh, lightning appears to be producing, uh, this lightning initiation region produces a lot of gamma rays and X-rays, hmm. but these regions at the same time appear to be optically dark and also radio silence. So all of us know that lightning usually associated with optical flash and, uh, and radio, uh, radio noise. So our model actually allows to explain these uh, peculiar features uh, of, um, uh, of lightning. So also, uh, while we worked on this research, uh, a lot of interesting ideas appeared which are going beyond lightning research. Like what? So, uh, this, uh, yeah, so uh, this photoelectric effect, uh, which, we, uh, which we studied, we believe can be applicable also in uh, relatively small volumes and uh, may lead to some new interesting ideas in plasma science and engineering in research, which is uh, uh, in fields which are different from lightning. For example, hmm. we're thinking that in small volumes, this powerful domino effect can lead to um, X-ray emissions and uh, potentially we can, we can uh, produce new X-ray sources in the future. Well, it's amazing that it takes one millionth of a second and so much research goes into it. Professor Pasco, thank you so much for your time today.